it's Claire Williamson here and I'm going to be giving you this training on how you can create 30 pieces of content for the next 30 days. Enjoy and make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you love this kind of training and you are ready to explode your lead generation. So how do you create a powerful content plan for the next 30 days, which means you can either schedule those posts ahead of time or you can just have them saved to a notebook somewhere so that you literally have to jump on, do your pre-engagement and your post-engagement, make your post and then just leave social media behind. I'm going to be sharing exactly the steps in this powerful training that is going to help you to, to create content that makes you into a lead generation machine, makes you a super attractor to your clients. It starts with knowing your brand and pillars. If you don't know what your brand pillars are, then go into the description below this video and click the link. Put your digits in because I will be sending you some information that is going to help you connect to who you are as a brand showing up online. This is so important because we don't attract what we want, we attract who we are. There is number one, an energy to your presence online. There is also strategy around choosing the brand pillars that truly reflect the elements of yourself that you want to share, the parts of your story that are going to have you resonating with your client, and also the things that are going to really powerfully demonstrate to your client the result that you can create. We generally have between three to five brand pillars and all of your content should stay within these brand pillars. So have a feel right now into who do you want to be online? I often use the house analogy for this. When I moved here to New Zealand, I actually walked dogs because I was completely broke. Um, I had no work, I didn't have any money, and so I started walking dogs on my lunch break to earn some extra cash. And as I was walking these dogs, I started to notice that the houses here in New Zealand None of them look the same. They're all, they're all different along the street, which was very different to the UK houses. And I started to notice that I would really resonate with one house over another house. And I noticed it was because of the things that I saw. Maybe there was a dream catcher on the porch and it made me see that the people there were spiritual. And I felt that connection because spirituality is something important to me. Maybe it was the swing set in the garden because at the time I really wanted to have children and, you know, I saw that they had children and again it was it connected me so think about being on a street think about your social media post as a house that people are walking by up and down every single day what is going to make them take a closer look what is going to re resonate with them what is going to connect them to you so that like is just that little wave that you get when perhaps you see that person on outside their house and something about that house is connected to you and you feel that connection with them so you give them a wave. It's like a like on your post. A comment on your post is when you actually walk up to the picket fence and you start having a little conversation because again, something has resonated with you. Something has caught your eye. Something has caught your attention. Something has got you to stop and look twice. And then the direct messenger is when you are so sure that there is a connection between you and the person that lives in this house. You are so sure you feel trusting of them. You know that they can help you in some way. They have something that is of value for you. And so you walk through that picket fence on that day where you have a real problem, something that is that is of huge concern to you. And you go up and you knock the door 
and you ask for help. Or if they're out there in the garden and they offer you help, you, you say yes to it. You've got to think about these elements of your brand. They are so important to creating the trust, the no like and trust factor that is going to help you to sell. So your first step to creating your 30-day content plan is to sit down right now and identify your three to five brand pillars. And if you don't know what they are, you're going to click that link below and you're going to start start the journey with me to finding out. So the second thing that you're going to do is to really discover the problem that your audience is trying to solve right now. What is a problem that they have that you can solve for them that's going to get them interested in your post, that is going to get them watching that video, replaying that reel, saving that carousel? What is the content that they are going to find useful? They're going to see you as a resource because you've posted it. Now to help you on this, there's some tricks. Did you ever hear about the site Answer the Public? It's this cool site where you can go on and you can put one or two words into the search bar and you can find out the questions that people are asking about a specific thing. So if I go in and I ask about breath work, I can see in all these cool diagrams that come up the kinds of questions that people are asking about breath work so I can be helpful to them. I always then jump back onto Google and I start typing those questions in. I'm going to get a bunch of different information on the Google homepage, that first page, of the type of questions that people are asking, the type of information that is helpful, articles, YouTube videos, loads of inspirations. You can look at magazine covers and see what kind of really, you know, pizzazz headlines those magazine covers have on them because they're on the cover on purpose, right? They're sat in the point of sale in the store and they have these amazing headlines because they make people stop and they make people buy. And that's effectively what you're doing with your social media. Next, you are going to grab a blank piece of paper and you're going to write three things. Number one, message. Number two, what do my audience need to know? Question mark. Number three, what do my audience need to see? Question mark. This is where you're going to get your audience resonating with you. If you can get them resonating with you, if you can get them on your level, you know, feeling that no like and trust, seeing you as a resource, they're going to click follow, they're going to save your posts, they're going to jump in a conversation, or if you jump in a conversation, then they're going to have a conversation with you that's not, we've all had it, awkward, right? So, Answer these questions. What is the message you want to drive through your next 30 days of content? Number two, what do your audience need to know so that they trust that you can create a result for them, that they believe in you, that they have certainty in you? Because when they're certain, they will buy. And when you're certain, you will sell. That is often what we're lacking in our social media is real certainty around what we're posting and whether it's valuable and whether it's resource, resource um, a resource to people and even who those people are. We don't know who we're posting to and we feel all this confusion and then that blocks our inspiration and we get all stuck and confused and overthinking and we don't post anything. And right now you have to be posting to be seen. If you have a powerful message, you have to be posting to have people hear that message, to have them hear you. I had a client say to me just today, Claire, it was such a breakthrough to realize that I'm not trying to speak to 500 people. I'm not trying to have 500 people like what I say. And I'm so over overthinking it in that way. And I just realized I'm just showing up for one person, one person. And if I can get her to hear me, then I'm winning. And that is what you have to do. What does that one person who has the problem that you can solve and is seeking the result that you can create. What does she need to know? What does she need to know about your story? What does she need to know about your unique way of doing things? What does she need to know about the journey she's about to take? 
And the final one, what does she need to see in you? What do you need to show to show her that you are an authority, that you have credibility, that you're on her level and that you are you've walked her story. You've walked that path. You burnt your feet so she doesn't have to burn hers. You can give her shortcuts. You can make the journey easier. You can give her the comfort she seeks. What does she have to see in you? Finally, you are going to plot out your content spreadsheet. You are going to have five columns and six rows. In column one, you're going to write polarizing. In column two, you're going to write vision. In column three, you're going to write unique. In column four, you're going to write personal. And in column five, you're going to write gratitude. Then you're just going to fill out the boxes. Find posts that match the columns. The personal posts, they can be... Um, personal life posts so completely and make sure you do this make sure there's a good proportion of your posts that are just sharing from your day-to-day -day life alongside those brand brand within those brand pillars they can be personal story posts and you can make those short caption posts or long copy posts where you really dig into the story gratitude can be gratitude for your situation gratitude for one of your projects gratitude for one of your clients. Um, vision should be how do you show people that if they are looking at your content, they are bigger than, they are part of something bigger than, than they could ever imagine. You have vision, you have a plan, you are doing something, you are up to something. Polarizing. You can get controversial. How do you draw that big line down the middle of your audience so that you push away those people that are just time wasters and you bring towards you those people who are on your wavelength or who are sort of sliding in your direction and you can persuade them that the way you do things is the way things should be done. That is where the unique column comes in. How do you show your unique way of creating the result that you make? I'm always talking about breath work, emotional biohacks, brain hacks, hacking the social media algorithm. I will distinguish the fact that people relying on launches won't make money. They, they might make money and then they'll have tumbleweed for months. And that you can have consistent income with an evergreen strategy like my personal story formula. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that you will jump down into the description, click my link and work onwards with me to help you to get out of your head about content and start getting your message out there. You have a powerful message. You can create a powerful movement. And the best thing of all, you can get paid for it. So make sure you like and subscribe subscribe this to this video like this video and subscribe to my channel I should say and I'll see you on the next one